Hey guys, it's me, OP Games. Back for episode 9 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Today we are going to be in. Hey, oh! <clears throat> Even I'm getting tired now. I guess I need a wake up mushroom or something to perk me up. Alright, well, I guess we're in Lamon Ranch. So, uh. What we gotta do here is go, uh. to Syrup's Hut and get a wake up mushroom. Which I'm assuming you could only get by going through the ranch. Where is it? What is this? Alright. Let's see what this is. I see a chest up there. Ooh, 50 rupees! I am very happy. Okay, there's nothing to do up here. Shining bush. I don't know what that does. Uh, Lake Hylia, Syrup the Witch's Hut. I can't get to Syrup the Witch's Hut by going down, so I guess I'll go up? <sighs> Does anyone give me a heart? Okay. Let's use the cane of Patchy. And, uh, I guess shrink myself down and then size? There's a portal here, so... There's a tiny bridge. Ooh, is this how we get this piece of heart? Uh, it's not, but I got a kinstone piece. I did not need that. How do I get that piece of heart? Okay, um... I guess we're using this whirlwind. Let's keep going down, see if we can enter Syrup the Witch's hut, uh, the area, to get to Syrup the Witch. Mysterious shell. From who, Blue Ruby? From here. Yeah, it looks like we can. Just hopefully cross the water. And cancel. Here we go. We're going to get another Rupee. And, uh, making our way onward, I guess. <clears throat> We're in Lake Hylia now. Let's see what this says. This way to Mayor Hagen's lakeside cabin. I don't need to go there. I don't think. I don't think I need to go there. If I need to go there, then... God help me, because I won't. And then I need to come back. And there's a piece of, ooh, a piece of heart right here. I have two pieces. Don't know if I mentioned it in previous videos of this, uh of this playthrough, but uh, pieces of heart give you full health, which is nice. Ah, welcome! Care for some of Granny's homemade blue potion? One sip and you're full of energy! Please, look around! Oh, so I have to bring the wake-up mushroom to her, I'm guessing? Ah, yes, a fine choice, my dear. That's a limited time article. One whiff and you're wide awake. That's why it's called the wake-up mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? Yeah, I guess. You got a wake up mushroom! Its nasty stench chases away the sleepies. <laughs> Just face the sleepy snoozer and press R. That'll pop his eyes right open. Pop! Okay, so, uh, like I promised, uh, in the episode that I uploaded, uh, the day I'm recording this, which is the 29th of March, uh, is that, uh, I did put down in the description of part five, was it? That, uh, I just had a business meeting with my, uh, associates. We talked for a while. Meeting went well. I'm, I think. Enter this. Uh, we talked about lots of stuff with the future of our company, Hikema, uh, which is really good. We, we have plans to actually make some hardware now. <clears throat> Another great fairy. Welcome to the Adventurous Spring. I have need of many rupees. Please throw all of yours into the spring. Uh, sure, I only have, uh, like 46. You know that, if you do this, you will have absolutely no rupees left, right? Yeah, I'm fine, I only have 46. Will you really throw them all in? Yes! You are most kind. 
I do not really need your rupees. Well, liar. But I must reward such a kind adventurer with some of my power. Oh, a big wallet for free. That's nice. May light shine on your quest. But I still only have 46 rupees. That's not a lot. I'm not going to go looking for him. Um... Now that we have the wake up mushroom, I guess we want to go back to uh, Hyrule Town, wherever that is. Oh, uh, wait, there's a thing here. Wait, Veil vale Falls. Where am I supposed to go here? Okay. Uh, let's go to the right first. Ooh, a piece of heart! Okay, got a piece of heart. I now have three. Uh, ow! What's over here? That's, uh... That's love on the ranch, but I can't go anywhere. So I'm gonna need to go back the way I came. And enter Hyrule Town, I'm guessing? Oh, North Hyrule Field, okay. Hyrule Town is south of here, right? I think, I think I know my way around the map now. I think. Ah, stop blocking me. There's Milan. I'm gonna say hi. M Malin, whatever her name is. Oh, hello there. I'm selling creamy, nutritious Lan Lan milk for 100 rupees per bottle. Would you like to buy some? No, I don't have enough money for that. Don't, do I? I don't think I do. Oh, well, ask me anytime. I'm always right here. Yeah, I have 47. That's nowhere near 100. It's almost half, but... Did I just go through a thing with my roll? Okay, that's cool. If I recall correctly, and I guarantee that I do, my boy, I think Syrup said to stand in front of a sleeping person and press R. Let's do that then. Don't even have to get the item out or anything. Wow. Wah! What is that terrifyingly bad smell? A wake-up mushroom? I should have guessed. So you woke me up? Thanks, I just remembered I have something urgent to do. Yeah... Okay. Huh? What now? There are more new shoes! You probably won't believe this, but... I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. Now the minute do that for you. So you must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me, you could have them. Hold on a sec, though. I just want to finish this one last bit. Ooh, Pegasus boots! They have the wings on them, so I know they're Pegasus boots. And there we go. Here, take these. Those are my special Pegasus boots. They're so light, you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. You got the Pegasus boots. Hold the button to run faster than the wind. Alright. Ooh, I need to hurry up and get working on that special order. The king asked me to make some shoes for Princess Zelda, you see. Thanks for waking me up. Come back if I can ever help you with shoe problems. Zelda's turned to stone. I don't think she needs shoes at the moment. But, um... We can go back to Caster Wilds now, I guess. But now that we're here... Can I learn another blade technique from this guy? Hmm, a new sword. Fantastic. And you seem to have acquired new skills with it. Yes, I am ready to train you again, young swordsman. So, will you accept this new training? Yes. I will now teach you a technique called the Rock Breaker, so pay attention. First, swing your sword to break pots. Actually, that's all there is, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yeah, of course I do. Yes, haha, <laughs> good. If you had said you didn't understand, I would have had serious doubts about you. Yes, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as so to demonstrate the technique. That is the secret of the swift blade possession technique of training. Watch this. Gun. Okay. No, don't break the pots. Now they're uneven. Phew. Now, you must try it yourself. Break the pots with your sword. That's all. My OCD is telling me to break every single pot in this room, so... Yes! Fine work! 
Fantastic, even. I will now give you this tiger scroll, but I want to break all the pods! If you forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You learn the secret rock breaker fighting technique. This is not, not how to break rocks. Shatter pots and pulverize boulders with a single... Oh, I guess you can. He didn't say that, but I guess you can break rocks with your sword now? Let's just run up to him with the Pegasus shoes, see what he has to say. Ah, yes, you have the Pegasus boots, and you seem to have more skill, too. Yes, I am ready to train you again. So, would you like to train here? Yeah, please. You will now learn a new technique, the dash attack. First, equip the Pegasus boots. Second, equip your sword. Third, run like crazy. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yeah, I do. Yes, yes, you are my finest student. Just equip your sword and the Pegasus boots to any button you like. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as so as to demonstrate the technique. Stop doing this, please. This is the Swift Blade Possession Technique of Training. Watch this. Urgh. Ho, ze, shun! Yeah, I think Master Swiftblade is actually hurting his head while he does this. And now so is Link. Phew! Now you must try it yourself. Equip the Pegasus boots and your sword, and then run like crazy. I thought he was going to say run like hell. That, that would have that been funny. Yes! Fine work! You learn quickly. I will now give you this Tiger Scroll. Ooh, two in one. If you ever forget this technique, you can learn again from the scroll. You learn the secret dash attack fighting technique. Run like the wind and attack. Okay. Um, that's it for now, I think. But while I'm here, I think there are some other things I have to do. Like, there's a Minish uh, entrance in this house. Don't know what it's for. I'm gonna use it. Um, is it, is there a, no? Okay. Let's exit the house. And uh, run around the village as a minish sized kid. Where do I go? Um, uh, next I will talk to this Picori here, I think. I, 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 I would like to talk to this, Ghosts are scary. That one's nice, but even nice ghosts are still scary, aren't they? They're really not. I can... I have a... I have a serious problem that I can actually... A serious skill slash problem slash power slash whatever you want to call it that I can actually uh, feel when ghosts are nearby. Yes, ghosts are real. Uh, in real life. So, ow. That's not what I meant to do. I didn't mean to drown. So, uh, can I enter? Okay, now I'm up here, and I should get into this house somehow. Okay, there's a postman. I can't move. Is this a cutscene? Um, still can't move. My controller isn't working for some reason. That's not good. Uh, see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back. Apparently I've been recording so much that my recorder- my- Wow. My controller died in the middle of gameplay. But, uh, it's fixed now, so... That's good. I, uh, got a piece of heart. Which should complete a new heart container. Uh, my- Controller has now been. I I stop. I had to stop recording in the middle of uh my gate my session. P can you let me pass, please? Because uh, it died, and I had to um. I I went all the way. I I stopped recording until all the way back up. It got back up to full battery. I wanted to make two videos today, but doesn't look like that's gonna happen. But if we go here, talk to this Picori. What a wonderful smell! We're not talking to this one. We just love bread! Oh, okay. 
You got a hundred rupees! How exciting! That is very exciting. Now that my controller works! <laughs> um... Yeah, my Switch Pro controller has 40 hours of battery and apparently I used it all. So, oops. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Hmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples. I say, would you ask for me? I can't as a minish. I just don't know how to get back to normal size. Is there... Uh, this house has a... This house had a minish portal, right? Yeah, it did. I keep switching between Link being a Minish uh, sized kid and a Minish himself, even though I know he's a human the entire time and I just don't say the right words. Um, don't. Okay, let me go through. <laughs> I was gonna say, let me go through. Um, before I end off this video, there's one thing I wanna do that I heard about. Trying to play this mostly blind, but I did hear that there was a uh, some kind of secret in this bush. Yeah, there is. All right, let's go in. And it's a dark, another dojo, a dark dojo. You have found the true master swordsman of Hyrule, Grimblade. Ooh, can I learn a new attack? If you train with me, I will teach you skills you've never imagined. But the room is dark, and I cannot see your face. We cannot train like this. There is a piece of heart here. Can I get it? Yay! Uh... Yeah! Once I get out of here, that's gonna be, uh... It for this episode, guys. Let's go back to North Hyrule Field, and I'll end the episode right there. Uh, so, uh, prematurely, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos. I love you all. See you guys next time, right after I save. I'm probably going to record another video. Uh, bye.